on Saturday morning, MSF patients and staff killing Kunduz joined the countless number of people who have been killed around the world in conflict zones and referred to as collateral damage or as an inevitable consequence of war. International humanitarian law, it is not, it is not about mistake. It is about intentions, facts, and why. The U.S. attack on the MSF hospital in Kunduz was the biggest loss of life for our organization in an airstrike. Ten of thousands of people in Kunduz can no longer receive medical care now when they need it the most. Today, we say, enough. Even war has rules. In Kunduz, our patients burn in their beds. MSF doctors, nurses, and other staff were killed as they work. Our colleagues had to operate on each other. One of our doctors died on an improvised operating table, an office desk, while his colleagues were trying to save his life. Today, we pay tribute to those who died in this abhorrent attack. We pay tribute to those MSF staff who, while watching their colleagues die and with their hospital still on fire, carried on treating the wounded. This was not just an attack on our hospital. It was an attack on the Geneva Conventions. This cannot be tolerated. These conventions governed the rules of war and were established to protect civilians in conflicts, including patients, medical workers, and facilities. They bring some humanity into what is otherwise an inhuman situation. The Geneva Convention are not just an abstract legal framework. They are the difference between life and death for the medical teams on the front line. They are what allow patients to access our health facilities safely and what allow us to provide health care without being targeted. It is precisely because attacking hospital in war zone is prohibited that we expected to be protected. And yet, 10 patients, including three children, were killed, while the total number of MSF staff who lost their life in aerial race came to 12. The facts and circumstances on, of this attack must be in, investigated independently and impartially, particularly given the inconsistency in the US and Afghan accounts of what happened over the recent days. We cannot rely on internal military investigation by the US, NATO, and Afghan forces. Today, we announce that we are seeking an investigation into the Kunduz attack by the International Humanitarian Fact-Finding Commission. This commission was established in the additional protocols of the Geneva Convention and is the only permanent body set up specifically to investigate violation of an international humanitarian law. We ask signatory states to activate the commission to establish the truth and to reassert the protected status of hospital in conflicts. Though this body has existed since 1991, the commission has not yet been used. It requires one of the 76 signatory states to sponsor an inquiry. Governments, up to now, have been too polite or afraid to set a precedent. The tool exists, and it is, and it is time to activate it. It is unacceptable that states hide behind gentlemen's agreement, and in doing so, create a free-for-all in an environment of impunity. It is unacceptable that the bombing of a hospital and the killing of staff and patients 
can be dismissed as collateral damage or brushed aside as a mistake. Today, we are fighting back for the respect of Geneva Convention. As doctor, we are fighting back for the sake of patient. We need you, as members of the public, to stand with us to insist that even wars have rules. Thank you.